Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Greetings and salutations all. All right, we have another request. Um, this guy wanted me to go over a video by a... Uh, it's no longer quickiechick.com because I try to look this gal up a little bit. It's Dating Laurel. L-A-U-R-E-L. -E uh, and it's a gal. She's had a site for quite for a uh, channel for quite some time. And she looks like a bubbly, big boobed, uh, blonde American girl in California. And it's... I looked at, so I didn't watch the videos, because you could just look at it, it's cringe, it's, people make, it's like, oh my god, it's like the mega, and uh, <clears throat> it's, it's stereotypical, you can assume that's what it is, and you, know, you don't have to watch it, uh, but, uh, well, I'll just read what the guy wanted me to uh, request, here's the freeze my eggs video, only three minutes, and really sad, she starts crying at the end, at least she admits her pursuit of the career led to this, which I give her credit for, this one is gutting. You know she'll never have a kid, and you could tell under different, different circumstances she probably would have been a good mom. <clears throat> I don't know about that. I looked at that. <clears throat> we'll see. Makes you really hate the feminist and worthless fucktard teachers that brainwashed her. Anyhow, I decide if you want to... Decide if you wanted to do it or not. Well, yeah, hey, for money, I'll do it. Yeah, of course. I think you just post the link and tell people to watch it. No need to do a play-by-play -play video response. Also, this is not in the spirit of Cappy told you so, your call, but instead you have to capture the tragedy of the situation. This is not a case of enjoy the decline. Ah! But it so much is. If you want to plug Cappy's future dating service, that'd be fine. I gotta get on that. Stress that, the, that girls need to realize the narrow window they have. Send a quote, keep me anonymous. All right. <clears throat> so I'll, I'll, I'll explain the video here real quickly. Uh, again, dating Laurel, she's 36, but this was in 2013, so she's 41 now. And the video is that. It's, uh, I didn't realize I'd be 36, not where I want to be in life. Um, you know, and oh my God, I want to have kids. And she even says, I focused on my career more than I should have, like most women. I think she says, all women, I put my career first more than I should have. <clears throat> and then um, she does choke up at the end. And so now she's going to freeze her eggs because she actually did the research and found out that, hey, by the way, there's this thing called menopause and you only have so many eggs and the eggs decrease in quality. And she didn't want her kid to have Down syndrome, blah, 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 blah. And so then I looked it up, and thankfully, she, I was like, who is it? Because I didn't want to just, like, rip apart somebody, and I'm not, because he wants me to capture the tragedy. <clears throat> so, uh, what I, 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 you don't want me to be negative, or I won't. The positive, the optimistic, the good thing here is this woman realized that. And thankfully for her, she realized in enough time that she ended up, I think she does have a kid. Because uh, then I'm, I looked up and found out she got pictures of a kid. I think she got married. She had a kid first, then married somebody else that wasn't the kid's dad. But again, there and let's remain Mugman. So the, the positive thing is that she realized this in time. She froze her eggs. I don't know if she conceive traditional methods or not <clears throat> now she has a kid and now she is married uh, so it's kind of like the I don't know prodigal son or somebody asked for forgiveness they figured it out uh, it's not too late and now she has a kid but I cannot emphasize <clears throat> that the only reason enough I cannot emphasize enough the only reason she had a kid is because she realized and admitted she was wrong. I would also say uh, that it took a Herculean level, some true strength, some true personal resolve to undo all the brainwashing, to have the independent thought, and to have the, I hate to use these words because they no longer mean anything, the courage and bravery <coughs> to tell basically women incorporated or women.gov to fuck off 
and that she did want to have kids. That there's nothing wrong with wanting to have kids. And that, no, there are some hard biological time limits to having them. And if, if we were to look at the video for what it was in 2013 and not in hindsight of she does have a kid now, uh, you, you can see where it's classic party girl. She's just the classic party girl. And, oh, my goodness, look at me. I have boys. And I, I mean, you, you see it. You see it in the video. I saw another video, uh, solo TV, some gal. Because when you watch this video, then all the other crappy videos come up. Oh my God, I'm turning 30. And it's just this this thought on the internet. I mean, just, just a good looking gal. Of course, she tatted herself up and ruined it. And she's the opposite. She didn't realize it. She's she's 30 and like, oh my God, you know, turning 30, I can't drink as much. I can't party. Oh my God. Um, She's thoroughly indoctrinated. She's not, <clears throat> she's not going to, and oh my God, men just suck. And they, yes, you know, and ugh, there's these like guys who, you know, your friends on them and they're just even worse. Da, da, da. This gal figured it out. This gal admitted, oh my God, I want to have kids. And deep down inside, yeah, I guess you are a woman. I guess there is a woman there. So there's a, a, a salvation. That's what the, the lesson of this one. There is salvation. <clears throat> but if, this not every woman's gonna be this lucky. Even if she found out, realized and acknowledged, you know that uh, at thirty six, you don't have that much time left. I do want to have a kid. There was a good chance maybe she wasn't gonna have a kid ever. And for most of the women out there, this is not gonna be rare or or abnormal. This will be common. You girls are gonna be ready by. Th I'm finally thirty six. I figured it out now. Now I'm ready to have kids and a lot of millions. Millions of you will not be able to. <clears throat> you will have to, as she says, I'm freezing my eggs and you should too. <laughs> At which point, you would think, isn't the world trying to tell you something? That maybe if you had, yeah, 50 years ago, this was not an option. That maybe you fumbled the ball along the way. That maybe you were wrong about something. And what they're wrong about <clears throat> is the number one she said it. The number one thing in your life is not your career, ladies. The number one thing, and this isn't my opinion. This is an old Clary. Oh, get your ass back into the kitchen with no shoes on and make me a sandwich. It's not that. This is your hardwired biological drive telling you this. Most of you want to get married and have kids and not, okay, let me take that back. Most of you on a genetic Darwinistic level want to be a mother and a wife. Whether you actually put forth the effort into doing that's another matter. I know consciously many of you want to get married and have kids, but that's different than being a mother and a wife because one requires you spread your legs, the other one requires you say, I do. That's all the calories of energy that takes. The other set of obligations requires a lifelong sacrifice of dedicating yourself to, here's a foreign concept, other people. <clears throat> And that is genetically and biologically what's hardwired within you. And where the two worlds collide, where you get the propaganda and the brainwashing and the lies from feminists and corporate America and the government and the life of Julian, you don't need no man and feminism and fish, by all these people that claim to be your side, uh, where they give you this propaganda, this script, this code, and you believe it. And then it rams into your biological hardwiring that deep down inside, yes, you'd like to be a mother and a, and a wife, not get married and have kids. <clears throat> the, cr the crash happens when this woman starts crying. When she starts to realize, oh, oh. And, and <clears throat> God, you don't want me to go negative on this one. It's really hard, man. It's really hard because I have no sympathy for these people. None. I'm happy she made it. I'm happy she woke up. Now she's got a kid. Broken family, dysfunctional, well, maybe not a dysfunctional home, but broken family, not a traditional nuclear family. She's got it. But I just, the amount, you know what, if it was just a quiet brainwashing and you go girl and feminine and just do your thing and do your stuff and your career over men, 
<clears throat> fine. But but along the way is, oh, by the way, you rat bastard men are to blame for everything, and you're sexist, and we're oppressed, and me too. And, 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 you know, we don't need no man to go fuck yourselves. I mean, that is basically what the past 40 years of feminism has been, certainly the past 50, 30 years of feminism, is, hey, you men, go fuck yourself. And you're to blame for it. You know what? I don't care. I, so I don't care. I'm happy this one figured it out, the salvation. I was wrong. Here's reality. I, I'm a, it takes courage. That takes very courage to admit you're wrong. One of the most courageous things. Truly meaning of the word. Not you're brave and courageous and amazing. Yeah. But for the rest of them, like the conserv not conservative thought, just a regular thought. Like, oh my God, I'm da, 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 da. No, I don't care. I'm actually enjoying it when they are spinsters, postmenopausal spinsters at 50, and no one gives them the time of day, and they're miserable, and they're on drugs. I don't care. I'm happy. That's called justice. That's that ain't even justice. It's balance. It's equilibrium. It's ultimately the cost of their decisions catching up to them. I've seen a man, I've seen him in my generation. Now I'm 43 now. So I know most of the people I know are plus or minus five years my age. The women who are 48, whoa! Say, whoa! <laughs> it's the show! It's the show! It's the entertainment you get! You know, this is what all that you guys went through. You're the bad, you're shit, you're filth, you're foul. You're crap, you're to blame for everything. And and now it's the part of the movie <clears throat> where all of a sudden the good guys come in because reality's kicking people in the ass. You don't beat reality. You don't beat hardwired biology. And now you start to see it. Women getting divorced because they read too much books or they watched the Fish Bicycle movie starring the woman who ran off with the billionaire guy from the Mediterranean. Uh, who, who fi flies fighter planes and is a, and, and is a billionaire uh, philanthropist? They believe that shit, <laughs> and then they find out no nobody likes them. No one's gonna visit them. Today. There's no love. They won't be grandmothers. I, it, it's happening now. This is the exception. And God bless her. Hope she and her family are happy. Hope the kid is what doing well. <clears throat> but yeah, just just look at her videos before. Look at the other. Gal, I, I wish I knew her name. Solo TV's got one up there. Sign Tang Thirty. I mean, just watch it. You're like, fuck you. <laughs> just fuck you. You're selfish. You're arrogant. You're dumb. You got no real skills. <clears throat> you you don't think. You don't contemplate what the meaning of life is. You are easily. Oh my God. I guess the single largest complaint I have about uh, the sexes when it comes to women and their expectations of men and dating and women and children and all that other thing, is how you all claim you're so damn smart and independent-minded and you are the easily, easily, you are the most easily brainwashed group of people ever. And you, you give up the most important things in life. I, again, I am amazed at how successful feminists, feminism, and socialists and the Democrat Party have convinced you women to give up loving kids and a family and a husband or a loved one or a spouse or whatever for work. <laughs> they got you to love commuting, queuing up at the at the <clears throat> entry ramps with the lights, the, the metered ramps, and then you line up to go park and you pay for your parking and you walk in, you sit in front of the cubicle. They, they got you to believe that's more rewarding and more important in your finite life than it is to spend time with your own fucking children. And then when you have children, <clears throat> because remember, you want to have kids and you want to get married. You don't want to be a mother and you don't want to be a wife. You then outsource your kids to daycare and social workers and other teachers. You outsource... Ah. And, and, that, and, that, and then, <clears throat> again, this is the part of the movie where reality wins in the end. The good guys start fighting back. We don't have to fight back. We don't have to lift a finger. This is the most lazy movie ever. Reality just kicks you in the nuts or the ovaries. And you're like, wait a minute. Did I just waste all my life not spending time with my kids? I, I, I have a career. I have a master's degree. Oh, I didn't like my husband. He didn't inspire me anymore. Who cares if I'm 180 pounds? I, beauty is on the inside. And you are about to see it happen in spades, ladies and gentlemen. You are about to see Generation Spinster. You're going to see it with Gen X. Definitely the Millennials. Because 
it's the exception, not the rule, that a thought like this from bubbly, big boobed party girl wakes the fuck up and matures like that and also realizes it's other human beings that really matter the most in life. The vast majority of these women are easily brainwashed, hypocritically think they're independent mind. They have the whole world singing their praises <clears throat> to sell them shit, worthless degrees, $3,000 handbags, McMansions, cars they can't afford, partying. <laughs> and by the time they realize it, their beauty is gone. Their number one asset is gone is their beauty and the looks. And I don't care if you don't like that. I don't care if there's two fucking barrels for you. That's what it is. Because once women lose their beauty, half the population no longer gives a shit. Sad. I know you may not like that, but it's sad but true. Once you lose your beauty, women become invisible. <clears throat> and whether you actually have some good... I know I'm not a big fan of having kids. I'm not having kids, right? Uh, but at least I, I know the concept of family in a fast and furious sense that you should have family and friends around and, and loved ones. My focus is still on, on the people I love. I have kids for other more important reasons. I don't have kids for other more important reasons. Uh, but for you rank and file people, uh, you know, who just sheepishly go wherever, you girls better wake the fuck up and truly exercise some independent-minded thinking like this truly brave woman. Here's the brave woman of the year. She actually thought, <laughs> uh, you guys better wake up. But I... I you know what it, what what this deep philosophical argument in this video is going to be hit to is to the client anybody listening. Do you want to know how they're going to dismiss this this important argument I made that humans are more important than anything else in the world and that love is all that man. You know how they're going to dismiss it? They're going to call me a sexist. They're going to call even though I'm trying to make the life happy and da, 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 I'm going to get called. This is this will all be dismissed rebuke as oh, he's a sexist. He's a ignorant. Oh my God, he's ignorant. He's such a jerk. And that's why I sit back and I watch the show. That's why I watch the show. I don't have to lift a finger. I don't. Life is going to beat the motherfucking shit out of Generation Spinster. And it's not going to be my fault because I, it's certainly not my fault. I try to warn people about it. But once, you know, hey, what, what was it where where you tried to warn everyone. What's the mythical Cassandra? Where was it that somebody tried to warn somebody, no one listened to them, and then, and then they all... I forget. I'm sure there's some fables or parables throughout the history of all the world where there was one person, hey, hey, this flood's coming. You better... Noah, maybe? <clears throat> was it Noah? I don't know. Fuck you. All right. Have fun swimming. See ya. Bye. No, I don't have any life rafts. Rubber hasn't been invented yet. See ya. All right, that's it. Uh, questions, answers, assholeconsulting.com. Read some books. All the links are down below. Great Christmas books. Great Christmas books. Great Christmas gifts. Links all below. Tune in to the podcast and all that other shit. We'll see you later. Toodles.